Hello, this is Stu Loriano with California Image Maker, and in this edition of Real Estate Marketing, we're going to talk about how to optimize playlists, how to use playlists to give your viewers the best experience and create traffic and click-throughs you know, through to your website. So this is our channel, and you'll see we've got it branded properly. We've covered that in other tutorials, and we've got a featured playlist here is what you're looking at here, and our featured playlist is our company profile. And you can see just the way a regular website would be organized with navigation buttons, we've got our featured playlists over here. So our profile, secrets of internet marketing, showcase properties, uh, agent webisodes, and then our total upload. So how do we do this? How do we make this worthwhile? And this is an easy way for consumers to find what they're looking for because normally what happens by default when you upload videos to YouTube, the most recent one here ends up on the top and the oldest one ends up on the bottom and you may have created your best stuff years ago and you want that to be featured so playlist is the way to do that here's how we make it happen so when you're logged into your account uh, you've got your uh, options here little drop down button here uh, you've got channel and video manager settings all these different things but we're going to go to video manager and when you're in your video manager you've got uh, all your videos you've uploaded and you've got these options along here on the left and you'll notice playlists. So we're going to create a new playlist and that's this button here. When I create a new playlist I need to give it a title. So if you're in you know, uh, San Diego as an example, maybe you're going to create playlists based on geography. You've got uh, La Jolla and then you've got Del Mar and then you've got Encinitas or think about your market area. Perhaps you have Deal of the Week where you're going to have the hottest deal on Caravan that week or if you really get going and start to do great videos maybe that business of the week you're featuring local entrepreneurs. In this case I'm just going to call it test and we will uh, call it testing. You can give it a description uh, whatever you like and create the playlist. So now I'm going to save that and what you're able to do when you go back to your video ma manager is uh, add videos to that playlist. So how are you going to do to select the videos you want? Uh, in this case I've got a bunch so you can do one at a time or select a number of at a time so um, I'll put this one in there and I'll go down here and go to Hancock Park and just just uh, another one uh, here. So once you've selected the videos that you want to optimize by using that uh, checkbox, that radial box, there you go, add to and it's going to give you all of your playlists here. And in this case, I'm going to go test. And it has been added. I close that down. And now I've got a new playlist when I go back in here called test. And when I click in here, I can edit the playlist too. So uh, how do I want the videos to be shown? And this is important too. You can move them around. You can notice this one is one, this one is two, this one is three, and uh, I can click and drag. So let's say I want this one to be one. I can drag that up here and uh, now I've changed the order. And you may want to do that as well. I have your best video be your first video. And once I'm done, I need to make sure I save it and uh, we are good to go. So that's how to create playlists, optimize playlists, and then actually let me go out here and show you uh, now when you're on your channel and we've got Steve our Oriano. featured playlist and I want to edit the playlist and I want to uh, add a new playlist here so I can go here and I'd select test or any of the other ones that I've got set up here and that would add the new selection uh, to the navigation on my website and again here too you can organize these by dragging them and, uh, and dropping them uh, into new locations as well. So that's it. That's how to best use playlists to build an audience and keep an audience coming back. So we look forward to seeing you on our next video.